Hey everybody, this is Carl from CarlSapsy.com here with another tutorial uh, for Python. So if you want to check out any of my other tutorials, head over to CarlSapsy.com where you can view my HTML or Python tutorials. Uh, they're all on YouTube, so if you can't find my page, then feel free to check out my YouTube channel. They're all on here as well. So today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be learning about loops. Uh, we're going to be learning about the function for loops. So you want to first of all go and uh, open up your Python shell and make sure you go file, save as, and make a new document if you're starting uh, afresh. The first thing we're going to be looking at is how we can find the length of a certain uh, the length of a certain string of characters. So let's say we wanted to find out the skill level of someone by using the number of characters in their name. So we can make a name variable which is equal to an input. And then we can say, what uh, is your name? And then we're going to have a variable called skills. And skills is going to be equal to the length of your name. So this is just purely by using the length function, or dot len, uh, otherwise. And it, it will find the, it'll find the number of characters in the sequence of your name. So now the final thing we want to do is we're going to go into print and we're going to go print uh, your skill level is end speech marks plus uh, the string of uh, the string of skills plus exclamation point. So the reason we're going to put the string function here is because when we put the name into our original input, we will get a value of, we will get a numerical value of the name. And then since we want to put it into a string format so it fits in with this entire string, we have to use the function string. So now let's press F5 to run the module and I'm going to go and save it again and call it hello.py and that's okay so I'm going to rerun the module okay so it says what is your name and I'm going to say it's Carl and it says your skill level is 4 this is purely because my skill uh, because my name has got 4 characters in it so let's rerun this module and let's say my name was uh, Hilly Billy is silly okay so now it says your skill level is 17 because obviously there are 17 characters here um, so now we can change the steps to find out how we can work out the skill level so we can make this slightly more interesting so when we say uh, we can change the steps that we use to make it this is known as a basic algorithm so now let's say we wanted to count how many vowels there are in the name and let's say that based upon how many vowels there are you've got a new skill level so we can start off by making our skill level equal to zero and we're gonna say we're gonna have another input of name and we're gonna we're gonna have another variable called name and we're gonna input uh, what? Oops, sorry. Uh, what is your name? And then we're going to put four. And then let's say uh, James in name colon. If the if James in then we're going to open up some square brackets and we're going to say a and the square brackets uh, uh, a and the quotation marks open another pair of quotation marks e then i then o and then u we can then end the square bracket and then put a colon and then we're going to say that in if 
you've got a particular amount of um, if you've got a particular amount of uh, vowels so every time we have a vowel we're going to say skill plus is equal to one so this effectively saying that every time a vowel appears in the name we're going to get one point so now we're going to print uh, your actual skill level is and then we're going to plus another string and then it's going to say skill and then we're going to end this and now let's press F5 and run the module so it says what is your name and let's say the name is James your actual skill level is 1 and your actual skill level is 2 this is because what has happened here is this is what I was talking about as the title suggested for it's called for loops so what's happened is every time it runs through the name James it's going to go through J loop round go to JA and then it's noticed a vowel and the vowel is within this section therefore it says your actual skill level is one then it goes and then it goes to JAM it then loops around because there's no vowel and then it comes to E which is another vowel and therefore it says your actual skill level is two um, now if you were to change this name to Adam A D A M and let's refresh the page and it'll say what is your name so I'm going to put Adam now the name Adam is not defined because over here you've got to change them both so first of all let's change this to Adam as well and now let's rerun the module and it's going to come what is your name and I'm going to put Adam so now it says your skill level is actually only one but as you can see here there are two vowels so why isn't our name why isn't our skill level actually two the reason for this is because you've not defined the fact that you've got a here which is small a but you've not said that in Adam you also want it to include capital letters or only small letters so in this case here what we're going to do instead is we're simply going to put if in Adam and we're going to put dot lower because what's going to happen is it's going to make everything into lowercase so I'm going to rerun the module and it says what is your name and I'm going to put ADAM and now what's happened is it's gone through the module and it's put every it's put Adam as completely lower cases and it's rerun it and it's found the first vowel looped round going to D looped round gone to A found the second vowel looped round and then gone to M and since that's the end there is no more skill involved uh, in my next tutorial I'm going to be talking about how we can use this sort of thing to find out percentages of skill and uh, similar sorts of variables uh, thank you very much for watching I'm Carl from carlsapti.com